Yeah, your boy Mac on that f***ed up sex fit again. Don't fall that great. Yeah, this Givenchy jacket though is super, super raw. Sometimes even in the summer or when it's a little nip at night, you feel me? I can get away with this. It's colorful, it's raw. And it was, I don't even think I checked the price on this shit. God damn. I need to start checking the prices. This was $2,600, cool. Oh, fuck that, we rich as hell. <laughs> I'm in sex fit, loaded. 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 Your boy Mac on that f***ed up sex fit again. Don't fuck that great. Y'all always ask me what you, what you get, Mac on. And sometimes I don't be trying to show that drip off. But today we gonna show that drip off. Don't fuck that great. Spent 8,000 at sex because I felt like it. Oh, fuck that. I'm in sex fit loaded. 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 What up, folks? They loaded, folks. Loaded. Loaded. <laughs> All right, y'all, now, due to my thoinkism, I really don't remember everything I got. Like, I mean, as I grab this shit, I don't remember. First off, hallelujah, I can do that because I'm getting that money. That's money. All right, we're going to start with this bag right here, random. Oh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, this is the last thing I got. I was checking out. I looked around. I seen these. I said, oh, my lord. I really don't even know what brand this is. Oh, MCQ. How much are these? 485. $485, $485. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them altered at the cleaners, and they're gonna fit like stack jeans. They're gonna fit raw as hell on me. It's gonna be dripped out. I'm dripping out. Now, the best way I can describe what I was going for today, I was on my, you know, you know, thug and future. Thug and future. I'm too sexy for. Uh, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. What these is? Oh, this is that Palm Angel. I needed some black, um, some black. Sweatpants that I don't have, so I bought some Palm Angels. These was how much? Cause y'all always be asking me how much. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars for these right here. Oh, for them gray. And then what's in there? This bag. Oh, I remember this. This like a hoodie slash sweater slash. It's just a hard look. I like. I just how I got look. Uh, it's purple brand though. It's purple. Y'all probably seen people wearing purple jeans and shit like that. Uh, this was two sixty-five. Some slight, some right. Got the little purple in the back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We doing it big like that. Next bag, you know. Uh, Gallery Department. Yes, I saw, saw, saw. Yeah, Gallery Department. Uh, this was on a sales rack. Actually, I'm pretty sure. Don't know how much it was. Oh, it's actually a Gallery Department and Lanvin collab on front of Greg. And it was. I don't know how much it was. I have no idea how much this, this jacket was. Next is we have Alex. <laughs> now you got this shirt. I seen this shirt. I love this shirt. You feel me? This shit was hard as hell. I put it on. Uh, this is actually a large. Good thing about being a skinny nigga, you can wear them big sometimes. You can wear it fitted. You can wear it tight. You can wear it loose. You can do your thug dizzy. So it's like a little loose fit shirt. Uh, my boy Alex went crazy. This shit is so hard, you know what I'm saying? I f with the brand, I, I got a few pieces from them. So yeah, this is like a piece right here. I'm, I'm gonna pop it out on some raw shit. Next, I got some helmet lang pants, or well, actually helmet lang jacket to match my helmet lang pants. I got the pants to go with this, um, but I didn't never got the jacket. So I got the jacket, I just gotta get the pants altered too. They're a little too baggy for me, so yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. This was, oh, my bad. This was 425, this shirt right here was 505. Uh, next we got a Helmet Lane t-shirt. Remember picking this up, just plain little Helmet Lane on the front. Cool little Helmet Lane on the back, you know what I'm saying? Kind of cold t-shirt. Uh, I with Helmet Lane a long, long, long way, and they shit don't be that pricey. It's cool, 175, you know what I'm saying? Put this on smooth, clean, quality shirt. Ain't gonna fuck up on you, you feel me? Now we can take these bags and get them out of the fucking way, bro. Now we can slide over here to this bag. First thing first, we got the sweater. So we went D squared on the sweater. I know this was a pretty penny, but I love this sweater. And I like designer sweaters. Like one thing about Mako, I love designer sweaters. Like kind of like the most as far as like designer pieces, like sweaters, hoodies, jackets, and shit like that. Uh, this is, this was $880 for this sweater right here. But I love this sweater. I love the color combination. I'm gonna get drippy fleece ski in this month. Just wait until you see it on phone now. Next, we got this, what this is? Oh, this who the size war. Okay, so this is hard. So you got the front, you know what I'm saying, the little gospel, you got the church here in the back, and then you know we got, come on man, you know, you know, you know what's in the back. It's hard as hell, um, this was 275, so not too crazy. This, I remember this the first thing I picked up. Who Decides Wardo is a super raw brand, and I they shit heavy. I'm starting to see they shit a lot more in like sacks and shit like that. Last bag, 
This is, oh, this is Marnie. No, that's Marnie. What this is? This is Javanchi. Oh, yeah, this is Javanchi. So this is Javanchi. Javanchi. And I really, I was f***ing with the, I the colors on this shit. I'm trying to be on more, like, colorful f***. You know, I'm trying not to, like, always have, like, black and, like, you know, so I used to wear, like, a black and blue and shit. So. Yeah, this Javanchi jacket, though, is super, super raw. It's not thick, but it ain't thin either. And y'all know if y'all, you feel me, by the time this video come out, y'all gonna know. I'm moving the so I can kind of get away with this sometimes even in the summer or when it's a little nip at night, you feel me? I get away with this. It's colorful. It's raw. And it was, I don't even think I checked the price on this shit. God damn. I need to start checking the prices. This shit was $2,600, Scoop. Oh, fuck that. We rich as hell. <laughs> damn, we rich as hell. I'm wondering like for $8,000. This my raw though. I did not check the price on this bit. It feel, it feel like $2,000 though. I'm this is a piece right here. Oh shit, I'm like, I'm gonna have to wait to. I gotta wait for the perfect time to pop them out. God damn. I didn't even know I was gonna do that. I mean, I knew it was gonna come one day. You feel? I knew it was gonna come one day, but I swear to God, like, I can't make this shit up, y'all. $2,000, y'all. $2,000 on this jacket, this little hoodie. But I ain't gonna lie, it's raw. Like, I gotta wait and get the perfect fit for that one. Like. Um, and the last thing, I gotta. Oh, that's not the last thing. I got a Marnie t shirt. Marnie t shirt right here. This is cool little Marnie t shirt. I'm fing with my man. Marnie on Marnie on Marnie on me. I've been rocking with him lately. This was, how much was this? $450 for this right here. $450. And then we got, um, what this is? Como. Como Des Garcon. Just a plain little, plain little t shirt. Nothing too crazy. I don't got no t shirt this color, but I do got a few pairs of shoes this color, so I needed something to go with them. This was a cool $93, so nothing cool. This, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, I like Como, though. I like the quality of their shirts and shit, too. So I, um, this is like some affordable shit you can grab and shit. Um, and then lastly, this is the last piece I got if I ain't tweaking. Yeah. This was a Balenciaga shirt. This is a plain Balenciaga t shirt um, with Balenciaga on the back, uh, like a brown color, and it was $650. So, yeah. That's complete the and haul in a f day. And we spent a total of $8,383.84. So the subtotal was $7,000, and then the taxes made it $8,300. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, this is my last time going to Phipps and spending any type of bag. Uh, so I just went in there and kind of just was picking shit up. Anything I liked, anything I saw. I was feeling rich today, you know what I'm saying? I got one of the biggest checks coming to me that I ever got this week. Well, as far as stretched out in the week, I got the biggest money coming that I ever got. Uh, so it's really like a crazy feeling for even like, I'm still in shock, like $2,000 on this jacket and I really didn't even notice. Like I was really just in that bitch picking shit up. And this like, this is like some of the most fun I ever had in my life. Like I love clothes, like I don't know if y'all peep. Uh, I don't really do too much crazy shit like the club or none of that, but I love clothes, bro. I love clothes, it's like a way for me to express myself and shit. Um, the fact that I can just walk in sacks and really just pick shit up, you feel me? Like this shit is crazy, bro. Like, we only at the beginning, uh, literally the only beginning. I'm trying to go in that bitch and spend a hundred thousand every day. Fun on grade, but yeah, uh, go ahead and end the video off with this, man. Hey, if y'all don't believe y'all can do it, I promise y'all I was in the same position watching people do it, wishing that I can do it, trying to figure out how I could get there. You can get there too, man. Just make sure y'all every day, every day, all day, just make sure you're doing something to elevate your life. Um, uh, because I still do that shit to this day. Y'all know I wake up early, I still get my shit done, I still make sure my work, I could, I could slack off and sleep every day for a week and still make bread, but I don't do that. Because shit can, anything can, anything can happen, number one. Got to keep your hustle up. And you don't want to get comfortable, bro. And don't feel comfortable when you ain't comfortable. That's, like, one of the main things, like, motherfuckers, I ask me that shit all the time. Like, don't feel comfortable when you ain't comfortable. If you ain't doing exactly what you want to do, if you're not in a mansion with the cars that you want and you can't go get everything you want to get, you should not be comfortable, bro. Like, make sure you're just working every day, all day, trying to figure it out. It might take you longer than I did or shorter, but you're going to figure it out. Love y'all. Gang, gang.